So this is where it started on the creating a bug house fence, habitat fence, wildlife fence, whatever you want to call it. Obviously I wanted a fence, but rather than just wasting that space, it's like how can we give a bit back to nature? So this was the original one, just on the front of the garden. Uh, I filled it with things like rocks, rolled up paper, logs, uh, this is straw here, whatever really wants to go in it. And you could just put logs in, but if you then drill holes in logs, then you get even more habitat. So that's a really worthwhile thing doing. Uh, pine cones are good, and I like pine cones. However, every time they get damp, they close. So they'll keep dropping down. Uh, if we go to this next bit, this is an example where, this was an old sycamore tree. Now it works really well, loads, loads of branches left. But if you just filled it, it would all drop down. So you don't want to do that because it'll spread. So what you do, you put these braces in every so often, staple on both sides and that just holds it all together so all the all the gaps in there work really well because you know you'll have spider webs all sorts of things like that it doesn't have to be a set fight here what you fill it with um, the problem was then uh, i liked the idea and like with all ideas you want to expand them but then i had to do the rest of the fence which i'm very pleased with but it takes a lot of filling so if you walk along here um, the one bit here so I drill holes even in these structures just to give them more habitat that'll be a masonry builder be there where it's got the mud you get other ones where they fill it with leaves all different things so again you can see different habitats but what's working really well here which I'm really pleased with is I've let the ivy come through from the other side and eventually that will cover all the wall and even though it's interesting texture now eventually it'll be an ivy wall but behind it you've got all that habitat which the creatures can live in uh, again, you've got gaps, but the gaps are okay because, again, spiders and things can lie that. It doesn't need to be solid. Um, this was just loads of leaf litter, uh, Christmas tree here, egg cups, another Christmas tree, pine cones. Uh, this is probably my favourite one, but it is hard work to do because you get the logs and you chop them up, that's fine but then drilling holes, which sounds quite easy, but do it a thousand times, it gets quite repetitive. However, I am pleased with this, and all I do is staple this side and staple the other time, and that stops it dropping down, because as it dries out, it wants to drop down, but that prevents it. Now, I don't like how I've done this one. It doesn't look as good. However, the method, this is the best method to do it. This is, this is if I was to say, of all the way I've done it, this is the best method to do it. So, you can see these, even though I haven't filled these very well, I think my patience level would maybe a bit low on the day. But what I've done is create windows, bricks as it were, and that way you can build them separately away from the fence, fill them up at your leisure, and then you can build a fence with the bricks. And what that does, it will make, I mean, these are all quite similar textures, but you could do, I don't know, cardboard, uh, straw, rocks, logs, and it just make it really interesting and it's definitely the easiest way of doing it so even though i don't like these in how they present that is the way to do it with the bricks okay. like how it was there but with the bricks and then hopefully you end up with a really beautiful fence which is going to give a bit back to nature while doing the job of a fence perfect okay.